Hey guys, it's me Gabriella, your Wednesdays here on Basically Us, and this week is Tag Week. Now, if you hear any noises in the background, it's my mom. We're packing to go somewhere, and yes, I forgot that it was my day, so I am making my video now. Um, if you notice anything different about this, it's because I'm not actually using my camera. I'm using my phone to film this because my camera died, and my backup camera died. And so now this is the only camera I have left. That is why I'm kind of thrown off because now I have to use my laptop to look for questions. But I have my questions. This is like 40, so I'm only gonna pick 20 to make this video as painless as possible. So with that, let us get into the video. I'm doing the 40 deep questions tag, or 20 deep questions tag. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna cut this video. We're just gonna keep going. So first question, number one. What is your philosophy in life? Uh, I don't have one honestly um, I just kind of if it builds me up then I do it if it it has any negative effects on my life then I don't do it that's my philosophy number two what's the one thing you would like to change about yourself um, I would like to change like honestly physically about myself I would like to change um, my weight yeah, that's it. That's all I like to change. I, I like everything else. Like my face, I'm not wearing makeup. I think I look okay. I, I don't look perfect, but I think I look nice. My hair is doing some thing where it doesn't look terrible. Um, I just, I change my weight, yeah. Number three, are you religious or spiritual? Um, both, I guess. Yeah, I'm religious. I'm a Christian. So yeah, both. Number four. Do you consider yourself to be an introvert or an extrovert? Um, introvert. I like I have extrovert tendencies, but usually when I go to meet somebody and I've never met them before, very introverted. Um, but if I know you, I'll be really extroverted. But it really depends on the setting. Um, number five. Which parent are you closer to, and why? I would say that I'm closer to my mom. Um, we just spend a lot of time together. Because I go to community college and I take a lot of online classes, we spend a lot of the day together, so we're very close. Number six, what was the best phase in your life? I think, we, I have the two. Um, my first best phase would probably be um, before I was 10, where be, it was before where I live now, and I lived in a different city, and that was definitely one of, one of the best phases of my life. Like, I love that. I only have good memories from that. Like, a few bad ones, but the good overweighs the bad. And then, like, now, like, I'm ha um, they're good. Like, the good definitely is outweighing the, ba the bad as of now. But definitely, I probably would think the before I was 10 probably the best phase of my life at this point. Number seven, what was the worst phase of your life? Um, I would say from the age of... 10 to the age of 18 so those eight years definitely the worst phase of my life like at, throughout middle school throughout high school terrible hated it um number nine what makes you feel accomplished i like when like i have a clean room and i have all of like my schoolwork done and i've made videos for youtube i've edited them and i'm getting them uploaded where I am like freshly showered and I do my makeup and I look really nice. I just feel really accomplished because I feel like I've done stuff and like I'm taking care of myself. I just feel really accomplished when I do those things. Number 10, what's your favorite book, movie of all time and why did it speak to you so much? Um, I would say my favorite book of all time, I don't know. I, I am a book lover. I love books. Um, so I can't really tell you, and I'm also a movie lover. Like, I, if you, if I had to survive solely based on two forms of entertainment, it would be movies and books. Like, I love music, but movies and books. Like, movies and books. Yes. Um, a couple of my favorite movies, I, I love Never Been Kissed, and I love Beastly. Beastly is, like, the one with Vanessa and Hudgens and Alex Pettifer. That one's a great one. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's like my favorite Disney movie. So when I saw that movie, I was like in shambles and I bought it. So I have that movie. I'm so excited to see the new Beauty and the Beast. I'm going to buy it on DVD, obviously. And it's just an amazing movie. And then the other one, um, Never Been Kissed. I just, I have never been kissed. So I definitely relate. And like, it's just a really good movie. And I think how they speak to me is just that 
they have like, I don't know, they just have like something personal and I can't really put my finger on it. I just love these movies so much. Um, number 11, what is a relationship deal breaker for you? If you're a liar, I can't stand liars. I don't like liars. Um, so if you're a liar, we cannot be in a relationship. Friendship, relationship, anything. I don't like liars. Number 12, are you more into looks or brains? Okay, so this is like basically saying, are you self-absorbed or not? And to be completely honest, I like brains, I like intellectual people, and if you're very intellectual and you can make me laugh and we get along really well, I won't even care about your looks. But if you don't have anything going for you and like your brains are like conceited and stuff, I'd rather you have looks. Because there, there needs to be something that is beneficial for me. Like I want you, I want you to like me for some reason. Whether it's my looks, whether it's something, but like looks is super conceited. Like if you have looks, I want you to have another quality. But looks matter. I know that makes you sound super conceited. I'm sorry. It, it is what it is. Um, number thirteen. What would you, would you ever take back someone who cheated? No. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. Um, no. No. Number 14, how do you feel about sharing your password with your partner? I don't care. I mean, I'm not gonna have anything to hide. And if I trust them, then I trust them to keep my stuff safe. If we break up, change my password. How about that? We're good. Um, number 15, when do you think a person is ready for marriage? I feel like a person is ready for marriage whenever they feel like they're ready for marriage. Um, I cannot tell somebody when they're ready. I graduated with several couples that are engaged and all, or already married. And I'm only 19, I'll be 20 in a month. And all these people were married like right out of high school or like right when they turned 19. So I I have no way to judge, I'm, even though I'm not in a relationship right now. Like you wanna get married, that is up to you. If you think you're ready for it, you're ready. Like, I can't, I don't, what, no. Number 16, what kind of parent do you think you'll be? I honestly think I'm gonna be a strict parent. Um, I work with four year olds and I'm very strict with them. Um, not like strict, strict, but kind of strict. And not like super strict where I'm not gonna let them do anything, but I will have rules because in today's society, a lot of parents don't have rules and they let their kids just do whatever they want and it's insane. So yeah, I'm gonna have rules. So if they wanna call me strict, Go ahead, I'm gonna be a strict parent. Number 17, what will you do if your parents didn't like your partner? Um, well, I really uh, appreciate my parents' input. So if they didn't like the person I was dating, I would wanna know why, so that I can make sure that whatever it is that they don't like about them is something that I'm not gonna like about them in the future, you know? Because if they don't like them, then there's a reason. Because my parents don't just not like anybody for nothing. If they don't like somebody, they have a reason behind it. Number 18, who is that one person you can talk to about just anything? Um, honestly, there's a lot of people that come to mind that if there was like a specific thing, I could talk to them about it, but I don't want to go to them about it. So to answer this question, not really anybody. There's no, although there's people that would let me open up to them, there's nobody that I would go to because I don't want to burden them, you know? But yeah. Uh, 19, do you usually stay friends with your exes? Seeing as I don't have any exes, that would be a no or a yes. I don't know. Um, and last but not least, number 20, have you ever lost someone close to you? And I didn't know that this was gonna be the 20th question, but um, I just recently lost a really close friend um, a couple days ago, and that's where we're going today. We're going to um, go uh, up to where her family is, and we're gonna go to her uh, viewing and her funeral. So yeah, uh, please pray for her and her family because um, we were really close when I was younger in that best phase of my life period and when we moved we kind of got uh, a little separated but I still consider her like a sister. So yeah, please, please pray for her and her family. 
Um, and that's the end of my video. I love you guys. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to answer any of these questions, comment it comment down below. If you want to say anything about what I answered, comment down below. Share it with your friends if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe because we make videos every day of the week, and except for Fridays, but we will get that filled soon. Um, and I will see you guys next week, but everybody else will see you tomorrow. I'm basically me, you're basically you, and we're basically us. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.